Welcome students, parents, staff, and friends of Augusta County to Connecting with Augusta County Schools. I'm Eric Bond and I proudly serve as your Division Superintendent. Please join me throughout the year as we take a closer look at our outstanding division and how we strive to serve every child every day. Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Connecting with Augusta County Schools. We're extremely fortunate today to have as our guest, Dr. Leanne Weitzel. Dr. Weitzel is the director of the Shenandoah Valley Center for Advanced Learning. Good afternoon, Dr. Weitzel. How are you today? Doing fine, Dr. Bond. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thanks for asking, and we appreciate uh, you being our guest today. It's quite an honor. So, Shendo Valley for Advanced Learning is kind of a new title for us in Augusta, Stanton, and Waynesboro. It is a regional center where it houses the Valley Career and Technical Center in the Shendo Valley Governor School. With that being said, tell us a little bit about the Shendo Valley for Center for Advanced Learning. Well, the Center for Advanced Learning is an umbrella that encompasses the Shenandoah Valley Governor School, Valley Career and Technical Center, as well as adult education, adult nursing, and the Adult Learning Center. Uh, really, it is a very specialized center for education, uh, offering opportunities that are not available anywhere else in our community. So they're highly specialized in technical education, uh, STEM, uh, humanities education, as well as uh, adult training, adult nursing, and ESL literacy for our adult students as well. The programs at Valley Career Technical Center and Governor's School are extremely unique. Can you tell our listeners, what are some of the different opportunities for students that you are most proud of here at the center? Well, that's a tough question because I'm really proud of all of them. And uh, certainly all of our students and all of our teachers work together really uh, more as colleagues and professionals uh, than teacher and student. We have our STEM program where we offer very advanced classes in math modeling and cybersecurity and uh, molecular biology and the computer sciences and advanced math. Uh, we have our humanities program, which uh, includes sociology and psychology as well as our arts. In addition, uh, a new program for next year would be our Go to Teach program, which is a combination of both our Valley Tech Teachers for Tomorrow program and our Humanity Arts and Humanities program at Governor School. And that's a great opportunity for students who want to be teachers to get a great head start, both professionally and academically, uh, for earning their teaching degree. So we're really excited about that. We've had our carpentry, electricity, and heating and air conditioning classes work uh, to build classrooms for our governor's school. So the fact that these students can construct the classrooms that are needed has really been amazing. We've had our ag classes and our environmental science classes at Governor's School uh, do field trips together. So it's just really a, just a, a great program, and, and it's great to see students engaged in so many different ways beyond the traditional classroom. Kind of going back to some of those proud moments of yours and some of the things that you're doing here at the center, one of them that interests me a little bit was some collaborative efforts between the two schools, if you will. Mm -hmm. You had mentioned kind of some of the carpentry classes, actually building some classrooms for the Gulf School students and some opportunities there. As the center starts to evolve, and I think your vision in the three school divisions, visions of the two schools starting to work more closely together, have some unique opportunities to collaborate. Can you explain to some of our, to our listeners what some of those opportunities might be even in the immediate future and a year down the road, two years down the road, what that might look like with the two schools being here as the Center for Advanced Learning? Well, I think being in the same physical location, we have great opportunities to take advantage of, again, unique learning opportunities for all students. You know, again, we had welding students work with our engineering students. I could see longer term uh, service type projects for our community. I think the idea is that we don't just want kids quote-unquote working together we want them thinking together we want them planning together we want them creating together we want them doing together uh, not just you know I'll do this piece and you do this piece and then we put them together and bingo we've collaborated we're looking for a deeper collaboration that's really about teamwork 
and really about taking advantage and sort of leveraging everyone's skills to a common end. So Dr. White, so you had mentioned that the Vendo Valley Center for Advanced Learning houses and kind of incorporates uh, Valley Current Technical Center as well as Geno Valley uh, Regional Governor School. Explain to our listeners what the intentionality of bringing the two schools under the one roof, kind of the future and some of the programs and some of the collaborative efforts that you see taking place here now and in the future. I think there's a, a great advantage uh, in bringing them under the same umbrella. I think each in and of itself is its own little gold nugget. I think together we increase the value tenfold. I think we can leverage, again, the resources, the opportunities, the equipment, the technology, the staff's expertise, our community, the unique opportunities in this area, just from where we live here in the Valley. Uh, We believe we can leverage those all together to make a really unique, special center for learning, not just in this area, but uh, in any area. Well, thanks, Dr. White. So as I think about that, I kind of envision some of this collaborative work kind of in real world experiences. Um, I know right now we're working on some middle school projects for Augusta County Schools, and I just kind of envision in that process, we kind of have this design to build where we have, you know, the design phase, and then that's going to be incorporated with the actual build of the project. And I could just see and envision that kind of collaboration here at the Center for Advanced Learning, where we've got projects that both schools are working on from design to build. One that kind of comes to my mind is um, several years ago, we did the electric car project where we had kind of designed the electric car and then we had to build an electric car. And you can incorporate not only the Gov School, but also incorporate our auto mechanics class and program. So I, I could just see that. Is that is that fair to say? Yes, sir. I mean, I think right now we're doing those kinds of things, but on a much smaller scale. And we would hope to continue to increase that scale into some of those larger type uh, real world projects. Well, not only the real world projects of actually completing the project, but I think you maybe hinted on it or mentioned that it's just students working together, thinking critically and problem solving. And I I think that's really critical, uh, what we're trying to do here at the center. Yeah, I mean, the the team problem solving aspect is the huge factor here. Right. So, you know, obviously the center has workforce readiness, but we also have kids that want to advance in their studies. How does that enhance and provide opportunities for our community? Well, regardless of what programs our, our students are in, we hope that they all will be seeking gainful employment in some respect, in some field, at some level. And so the idea we have a lot. Currently, we're, we're working to enhance our opportunities for work-based learning. Uh, we're working to enhance our mentorship opportunities uh, where possible. I think the idea of partnering with our community, business, and industry leaders is, is important and to continue to develop those uh, relationships and those opportunities for students that are really, you know, about being out in the profession, see what it's like, uh, what the profession is itself, but also just what being a professional is and the kinds of skills that we would want those students to have. What advice would you give to anyone interested in attending Shenandoah Valley Center for Advanced Learning? Part two of that question is those that are interested, how can they learn more about the center and how can they get involved in the center, either as a student or maybe even a, com- a community sponsor? Let me start with the first half of that question, and that is, you know, what advice? Um, And I would say this is advice for for any student uh, of any age, uh, adult or kindergarten, and that's just to take initiative and to learn as much as possible about everything. Take advantage of the opportunities. Too often um, we'll bring kids in to visit, and they're very hesitant to to step in and and very hesitant to take advantage of those things. You know, ask questions. The whole idea behind learning something new is to, you know, be uncomfortable sometimes. And so to just take advantage of those opportunities and realize that that's part of growing, Um, that really you have to have that growth mindset to um, take the initiative to, to experience things that you may not know about. 
And if you don't like them, that's okay. It's part of what you learn and part of what you know. As far as those interested in attending, uh, we certainly try to provide opportunities to uh, work with the students in the schools, uh, provide other alternatives for our adults. Probably the best place is to go to our websites uh, for Valley Tech, for Governor School, and take advantage of seeing what opportunities are out there. Those talk about uh, specific class information as well as collaboration. Our Facebook page is uh, for both Valley Tech and Governor School is, is filled with what is currently happening in classes, you know, day to day. You know, pretty much there's a post every day about what's going on uh, here at the center. And so certainly that can give you an overall idea of, of what that is. These are competitive programs in terms of students will apply to these programs. So it is really important for students to think ahead and to, again, take advantage of the opportunities they have prior to coming here. So, Dr. Weitzel, as we talk about advice for anyone interested in the center here, I know that you have, for lack of a better description, some recruiting efforts that you do, both at Valley Career and Technical Center as well as General Valley Governor School. Can you tell our listeners a little bit about some of those recruitment efforts that you have that you can expose some of our younger children into maybe some opportunities here that the center provides? Well, certainly some of our biggest partners are the schools themselves because we are a regional center um, that's over, you know, 25 elementary schools, you know, eight middle schools and seven high schools. We do uh, provide outreach opportunities where we invite students at various grade levels to come in to the center and, and see either governor school programs or Valley Tech programs. We've recently just uh, finished having all the eighth graders come in and visit Valley Tech. We do often go out and make presentations at the schools. Uh, we have information sessions here at, at the schools themselves so that students and parents and, can come in and see the facilities, see the classrooms. When students and parents come in and see the classrooms, I think immediately uh, there's a sense that this, these are different opportunities than what are available at the traditional schools. So obviously we have some strong partnerships with our community members, businesses in our in our area that are big supporters and sponsors, so to speak, of the center. If there are, are businesses out there or community partnerships out there that want to learn more and get more interested, what's the best way for them to, to get involved with the Center for Advanced Learning? Probably the most immediate and quickest way is just to, to contact me here at the center and I will put them in touch with the individuals that probably are most applicable to what their interests are. We are at this point planning to have a, an open house for businesses and industries here in the fall and we hopefully that would give us an opportunity to be able to expose them to what kinds of things are happening here at the center and how they might be further involved. Certainly we always enjoy financial support, but beyond that, providing the opportunities and mentorship and work opportunities, work-based opportunities for our students are still incredibly valuable and really cost nothing but time. Again, probably some of the most valuable experiences for our students. Well, Dr. Weitzel, thank you very much for being on Connecting with Augusta County Schools. Uh, we certainly appreciate you and your leadership and everything that's going on here at the Shenandoah Valley Center for Advanced Learning. So thank you for being a guest uh, today on Connecting with Augusta County Schools. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates on our latest episodes. Our episodes can always be found on Augusta County Schools' Facebook page and website.